dock this Rain cloud stuck up over my head Feel like it won't go away till I'm dead I got these gray skies Clouding up my eyes I hate this feeling that I'm feeling inside I'm stuck in my mind And I'm praying God send me a sign I don't know if I'll ever be fine I don't know if I'll ever be fine But I'll fight till the end of the line so first things first, we have to come up with a song, or actually we have to come up with some lyrics. So I came up with a chorus on my own and I just asked ChatGPT if they could finish this song for me. So then I entered in the chorus that I came up with and ChatGPT went ahead and finished the song for me and gave me a verse. I just copied the chorus and the verse and I came over here to Suno, which is a free AI music generator. You get about six songs for free every day. I believe that's correct. And I came over here to Suno to create my song. Now, there's a tab up here where it says custom. If you switch that custom tab on, you can enter in your own lyrics. If you turn it off, you could just give it a general idea and it'll create the song based off of the idea that you give it. So I pasted in my lyrics and then I told Suno what type of music I want. I chose hip hop, harmony, melodic, and introspective. After that, I gave it a title, never be fine, and I clicked on create. And every time that you hit create, you get two songs back. And Suno is such a good AI music generator. I actually had a really hard time choosing which song I was gonna use for this video. I got these gray skies clouding up my eyes. I hate this feeling that I'm feeling inside. I'm stuck in my mind. I got these gray skies clouding up my eyes. I hate this feeling that I'm feeling inside. I'm stuck in my mind. Every song that it came back with had a different style, a different melody, but every single one of them was extremely good. I ended up choosing this one, and then I moved on to the next step of this process. Come over here to pick Lumen, because I wanted to create a character for my music video. I decided to go with like a 2D pencil sketch type of character. I wanted him to look like he was cut out from a notebook paper and I just thought it would look kind of cool. And if you see my videos before, you know that PicLumen is a free AI image generator, so you guys can go over there and create characters if you want for your music video, and you'll have no problem downloading it completely for free. Just click on this button right here once you create your image, and you're gonna go ahead and download it. The next step of this process was to come over to Photo Room, and I had to remove the background from my character, so I clicked on Start from Photo, I clicked on Dreadboy, open that up and it removed the background and then I downloaded that image. Now it was time to come over to Pixel Cut where I can use their magic eraser tool. So I uploaded the image that I had of that dread boy and then I removed his mouth. Just click on zoom and scroll in a little bit and then you can drop down the size of your brush and you're just gonna remove the mouth from your character and click on erase. And then I went ahead and downloaded that as well. After that was downloaded, I came over here to a free vocal remover and isolation tool. This is an AI tool that's going to separate the voice from the music from your songs. So I clicked on browse my files and I uploaded that song that I just got from Suno. Never be fine. Upload it to this tool and it's going to separate the vocals from the music. Searching for light, but it's hard to find. Lost in the darkness and trapped in my so mind. as you can see it separated the vocals from the music and then I just went ahead and saved that as an mp3 and right here you could choose whether you want to save the music whether you want to save the vocals or if you want to save both the music and vocals as separate tracks I just need the vocals for this purpose now the reason that I did that is because I use Adobe Animate Express and to create the lip synced mouth automatically because that is an extremely tedious process in animation. So thanks to Adobe for their free tool, we can animate their mouth automatically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on browse right here and I'll click on never be fine vocals and I'll open that up. So now Adobe is gonna automatically animate this mouth and I'll be able to use it on my character so that it's lip synced and I won't have to do anything. Now we have a lip synced mouth for our character. I hate this feeling that I'm feeling inside. I'm stuck in my mind. And I'm praying God send me a sign. So that saves us so much time trying to animate a lip synced mouth. And now that we have that, we can also create some B-roll footage is basically what I like to call it. 
and I used this tool called Genmo. Now I thought that this tool was completely for free, but I realized after getting cut off on my last video, you can only create 30 videos per month. So I was able to create enough of these videos that I could make that music video look really good. And I just went with the same style that my character is, a 2D pencil sketch. So I just kept that same theme. And then I just created different animation videos with this AI tool, it's an AI video generator. And I was able to create these little 2D animations that were drawn with pencil. So that's how I was able to add these into the music video. Now in a second, we're gonna see the entire music video. I'm gonna play the whole thing at the end of this video just to show you guys. This was a good scene right here with a character walking through the darkness. It went along perfectly with my music video. This tool is able to create these little animations without us having to actually animate anything just by putting in a prompt. And if you stick with the same type of style that your character is, I think it'll really complement your music video well. Now it's time to put everything together in CapCut and I'll just show you real quickly how I did that. The first thing that you're gonna do is bring in your song and put that into the track. Then you wanna bring in your character and put him on the timeline. And as you can see, I also cut out his eyes in photo P. I forgot to tell you guys that step. The reason why I cut out his eyes is so that I could create those little animations, a little hip hypnotized animations right here like this one and all i did was just rotate these i kept rotating them to create the hypnotized effect so let's go back to our character and now once you have your character on the screen you can go ahead and bring in that animated mouth you put it over top of your character and then you're going to come over here and click on remove background chroma key and just click on the green and then you're going to scale down that mouth so it's lined up with your character and it looks like it fits. You might have to angle it slightly depending on how your character is situated. And then you're going to just line it up with the music. And once you have the mouth lined up with your character, you can come over here and start bringing in your background footage. So what you want to do is put that B-roll footage above your character. And now what we're going to do is come over to this blend section right here and we're going to take the opacity down so that way you can see both your character and the B-roll footage at the same time so it looks like sort of a blending going on there. And now once you do that you can also add in some effects. I just went crazy with the effects and at the end of it this is what I got. I got this rain cloud stuck up over my head Feel like it won't go away till I'm dead I got these gray skies clouding up my eyes I hate this feeling that I'm feeling inside I'm stuck in my mind And I'm praying God send me a sign I don't know if I'll ever be fine I don't know if I'll ever be fine I'm searching for light, but it's hard to find Lost in the darkness and trapped in my mind Every step feels heavy like I'm sinking in the ground The silence is deafening, no escape from the sound But I'm still holding on to a thread of hope Trying to climb, but I'm slipping down the rope These scars on my soul, they're telling my tale But I keep on fighting even when I fail Show me a way, give me a line I don't know if I'll ever be fine But I'll fight till the end of the line This rain cloud stuck up over my head Feel like it won't go away till I'm dead I got these gray skies clouding up my eyes I hate this feeling that I'm feeling inside I'm stuck in my mind And I'm praying God send me a sign I don't know if I'll ever be fine I don't know if I'll ever be fine But I'll fight till the end of the line Lost in the darkness, I'm trapped in my mind Every step feels heavy like I'm sinking in the ground The 
signs is definite, no escape from the sound But I'm still holding on to a thread of hope Trying to climb, but I'm slipping down the rope These scars on my soul, they're telling my tale But I keep on fighting even when I fail I'm stuck in my mind But I'm praying God send me a sign Show me a way, give me a line I don't know if I'll ever be fine But I'll fight till the end of the line So guys, one of the reasons why I think this song turned out so good is that I came up with the chorus on my own. If you're able to come up with the chorus on your own or at least part of the song on your own, I think the AI like ChatGPT or Suno's music generator, I think it'll be able to create a little bit better of a song because we're always going to be more creative than AI as far as I'm concerned. So if you can come up with a song or at least a chorus and then just have ChatGPT finish the song out for you, I think it'll be a lot better in the long run. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. And if you like it, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or if you need any help, make sure you leave a comment or you guys can email me. My email's in the description. I will see you guys in the next video.